okay so we shall continue again from the last time that we derived the uh, the boundary conditions and the substitutions of the boundary conditions into the into the mathematical expressions that we get so based on this we can get uh, we can express this k2 equal to 1 minus x a1 divided by k1 z1 is equal to 1 minus x a2 divided by k1 z2 okay then uh, we can also um, know that this k1 z2 divided by k1 z1 will be equal to 1 minus x a 2 divided by 1 minus x a 1 so that this k1 z2 minus z1 will be equal to 1 minus x a 2 divided by 1 minus x a 1 then your k1 will be equal to 1 minus x a 2 divided by 1 minus x a 1 1 over z2 minus z1 okay and then your k2 you substitute this um, k1 back into this k2 in here k2 expressions in here okay so that you will get these expressions k2 will be equal to 1 minus x a1 divided by 1 minus x a2 z1 z2 minus z1 divided by 1 minus x a1 z1 divided by z2 minus z1 so your k2 will become 1 minus x a1 divided by 1 minus x a2 z1 over z2 minus z1 multiplied by 1 minus x a1 z1 divided by z2 minus z1 okay then your 1 minus x a will be equal to 1 minus x a2 z divided by z2 minus z1 divided by 1 minus x a1 z divided by z2 minus z1 1 minus x a1 divided by 1 minus x a2 z1 over z2 minus z1 we are not finishing here there is an extra um, multiplication term which i have to put in the in the next um, the next in just below that um, this term is in here okay then we can simplify this further 1 minus x a divided by 1 minus x a 1 will be equal to 1 minus x a 2 divided by 1 minus x a 1 and this one is z minus z 1 divided by z 2 minus z1 z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 so we can uh, lump the the term on the left hand side 1 minus x a2 divided by 1 minus x a1 z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 okay so this will be the final expressions that give you the dependence of the um, mole fractions of a with respect to z i mean um, this will basically give you the um, x a in terms of z then we are it's of interest for us to know that uh, uh, we 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 check what is the dxa over dz dxa over dz is equal to c1 1 minus xa so this for this we need to go back up again to get 
where we get this dxa so this this dxa over dz will be equal to c1 multiplied by this one minus xa and so what will be this dxa over dz this will be minus ln k1 because uh, on top we have defined that c1 will be equal to minus ln k1 and this one should be multiplied by 1 minus xa so this will be equal to minus ln 1 minus xa2 divided by 1 minus xa1 1 over z2 minus z1 and so this will be still multiplied by 1 minus xa1 1 minus xa2 divided by 1 minus xa1 z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 so your dxa over dz will be equal to minus 1 over z2 minus z1 ln 1 minus xa2 divided by 1 minus xa1 1 minus xa1 multiplied by 1 minus xa2 divided by 1 minus xa1 z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 so what we can see clearly in here is that the xa over dz in here is a function of z so although the in this picture in here this naz is constant but the slope of xa dxa over dz the slope of this xa over uh, with respect to z is not constant along the course of your head of the column as you can see in here the slope is not constant if the slope is constant then uh, what you will have essentially is a line from this point in here to this point in here but it's not it's a curve so that means that dxa over dz in here is a function of z okay and the the, the profile picture of this uh, of the mole fractions of a and b in 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 here uh, we don't know it in the beginning what we know is only um the picture on this left hand side on the column and the systems so this profile this con this um mole fraction profile you will know only after you you get all the quantity of interest and after you finish the derivations okay so during the the course of the derivations and the solving of your um, general phenomena problems you always need to refer back into your system picture again okay and the next uh, quantity that can be uh, derived is the profile for guess b which you can obtain using xb is equal 1 minus xa okay and what we already know is that the slope for dxa over dz is not constant although your naz is a constant so the next quantity that we can get is the average concentration of b in the region between z1 and z2 so this can be expressed in terms of the xb average over xb1 and that will be an integral from z1 to z2 xb divided by xb1 dz divided by integral from z1 to z2 of dz okay this can be um, 
expressed in terms of integrations of 1 minus x a1 1 minus x oh this one is x a2 sorry and this one in here will be x a1 z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 dz okay divided by integral z1 z2 dz um, then we can uh, define a dimensionless variables equal to z minus z1 divided by z2 minus z1 and the derivative of this will be equal to dz divided by z2 minus z1 okay so your dz will be equal to z2 minus z1 then this okay then we go back again substitute this um, variables then what we will get will be integral from 0 to 1 xb2 over xb1 um, z2 minus z1 okay need to remember that we need to substitute this into the dz okay divided by integral from 0 to 1 z2 minus z1 um, these terms in here can be cross okay and then we will have this xb2 xb1 integral from 0 to 1 divided by 1 ln xb2 xb1 so what you will get in here is xb2 divided by xb1 minus 1 divided by ln xb2 divided by xb1 and here we can define um, a term or what, what we can see in here is xb average will be equal divided by xb1 will be equal to 1 over ln xb2 divided by xb1 xb2 minus xb1 divided by xb1 or your xb average will be equal to xb2 minus xb1 divided by ln xb2 divided by xb1 so in this regard your xb average in here is the logarithmic mean xb ln of the terminal concentrations okay um, so up to this um, up to here we have derived this um, um, the average profile of the mole fractions of the of the gas B okay I will continue in the next video the derivations on the rate of mass transfer at the liquid gas interface okay thank you for listening